Welcome to the Village of Beach Park Public Information Meeting. We thank you for being committed to our village and for coming to learn more about the topic of home rule. This presentation will review how the village government plans for the future. It will define what home rule means and provide some examples of how home rule would be used in Beach Park. Some myths and facts about home rule will also be explained. There are three types of people in the audience today. Those who are all in, those who are on the fence, and those who are skeptical. We encourage the all-ins to be skeptical, the people who are on the fence to ask questions, and we ask the skeptics to be open-minded. The village of Beach Park has many wonderful attributes, great neighbors, a lovely community, and plenty of fantastic residents. But what are our problems, and how do we plan effectively for them? The village faces the same economic uncertainties as the rest of the country, but the greatest uncertainty for Beach Park is Springfield. As a non-home rule community, policies and priorities are set by a governing body of 177 members, 244 miles away with varying priorities, perspectives, and constituents. Less than 1% of the elected body in Springfield represents Beach Park. 100% of your village board is voted in locally and represents our local issues. Springfield continues to struggle with budget impasses which results in Beach Park dollars being held in Springfield. In 2017, the state withheld 10% of Beach Park's shared income tax revenue. In 2018, they are withholding 5%. There is a well-known exodus of Illinois businesses fleeing to surrounding states. Since 1982, there have been 266 unfunded mandates passed on to local municipalities. The positive growth in our village is undeniable. While the village is ever vigilant in code enforcement efforts, there are still existing realities such as degrading upkeep and maintenance standards, an uptick in nuisance rental units, increased crime pockets in town, and the lack of branding or charm in our business district. Beach Park does not levy a municipal property tax. All property taxes paid by Beach Park residents are paid to other governmental agencies, such as the county, school district, the library district, fire protection district, townships, and more. The village has had the ability to impose property taxes since it incorporated 30 years ago, but it has not happened. Because the local elected village board are Beach Park residents, and just like you, they do not want to pay more taxes either. Home rule is a legal system for defining the powers which local government may exercise. The ability for local governments to take action is granted by the state in which it exists. In Illinois, home rule is automatically granted to communities over 25,000 residents. Smaller communities are designated by the voters in a local referendum. 215 communities in Illinois are home rule. Around 80% of the residents in Illinois live in a home rule community. Home rule would allow Beach Park to have more local control over how it operates, rather than the state of Illinois making decisions on our behalf. Planning for the future is critical. Local control is needed to safeguard Beach Park from Springfield. The village needs improved measures for crime control and ensuring upkeep, particular with rentals, vacant, and blighted properties. We need to find ways to fund our infrastructure and better meet the quality of life services that our residents want. While we stay committed to the pay-as-we-go approach that has kept our budget balanced for almost 30 years. How would Beach Park use Home Rule? Reduce the span of control for residents from 177 statewide elected officials to seven local village board members that you have elected. It also creates increased responsiveness to quickly identify local problems and work together on local solutions. Assist the village in managing the character of our community by allowing us to more clearly define business, residential, 
gaming, and recreation areas throughout the village. Other ways that Beach Park could use Home Rule allow for improved measures for crime control and ensure property upkeep, have a greater standard for rental, vacant, and blighted properties, while always assuring that we are not penalizing our good landlords. Continue to diversify our revenue plan so that we can fund our existing infrastructure and better meet the quality of life services that our residents want, all without property taxes. An improved bond rating provides better terms if we ever do need to take bonds or loans for infrastructure projects. The most utilized fees and taxes created in home rule communities are home rule sales tax, hotel motel tax, local gasoline tax, gaming terminal fees, real estate transfer tax. You may be thinking, how does Home Rule specifically affect me and my taxes? Home Rule does provide the ability to levy a property tax and increase the sales tax rate without referendum. However, there has never been a municipal property tax in Beach Park. The village budgets with revenue from state income taxes, state and local sales taxes, and local fees for permits, inspections, and fines. Home Rule will not automatically change any taxes. A study conducted with Home Rule communities from around the nation produced no evidence that Home Rule governments have higher per capita tax revenue or government spending. Home Rule is a system under which local government is given a broader scope of authority to determine what power they need and what revenue they can tap to provide health and safety services for their residents. Opponents base their opposition to Home Rule on the fear that local elected officials will abuse Home Rule power, especially the power to levy taxes. Opponents fear that local government, the people who live in the Home Rule community, who pay the same taxes, who shop in the stores, who send their kids to the same schools, will act in an arbitrary and impulsive manner when making budgetary decisions. Some opponents have recently said that they believe the local home rule designation will cause more bureaucracy. In early October, approximately 14,000 professionally designed postcards were sent to households in the village of Winthrop Harbor, the city of Zion, and the village of Beach Park. We encourage and welcome an open discussion on home rule. Unfortunately, this postcard failed to provide any specific examples of more red tape. But one specific example almost cost the village the new Speedway store on Green Bay and Wadsworth Road. The village of Beach Park completed a zoning review, processed a permit application, conducted a variance review, processed a conditional use permit, and the Village Board approved the Speedway development in about 60 days. It took the state 837 days to review and approve their portion of the Speedway development. This lengthy delay put the entire project in danger of not happening in the Village at all. The Village of Beach Park shares the frustration with burdensome red tape and government bureaucracy. The Village of Beach Park does not levy a municipal property tax and has had a balanced budget for its nearly 30 years of existence. This is a fact. The Village of Beach Park has had the ability to impose a non-home rule property tax since its incorporation almost 30 years ago, but it has not happened. This is a fact. The only way to abolish Home Rule is to amend the Illinois Constitution. This is a myth. The decision to become Home Rule is determined by you in the upcoming November election. 
the decision who serves on the village board is determined by you, with half of the board seats up every two years. Every village board meeting includes an opportunity for the public to comment on decisions being contemplated by the village board. The ability to rescind home rule is yours. It requires a petition of signatures equaling to 8% of the number of voters from the last election. Our voter turnout is historically around 1,088 voters. So it will require 87 signatures to get a rescinding referendum on the ballot. If home rule doesn't pass, the village government will go bankrupt. This is a myth. The village maintains a 25% operational surplus, or rainy day fund, so there is no concern about meeting current financial obligations. The village is not in a crisis situation. It is not depending on this measure to balance a budget or to amass any sort of arbitrary taxing power to shore up weak budgets. Becoming Home Rule is another tool in the toolbox the village uses to help spur economic development and provide basic public health and safety measures to the residents of Beach Park. It is good government to plan for tomorrow, today. What about future mayors and trustees? This is a reasonable concern and one that was faced by both the founders of our nation in 1776 and the founders of our village in 1989. By planning for the future, using the very best information that is based in fact, statistics, and data, the village has operated in the black without levying a property tax for its nearly 30-year existence. Because you attend public information meetings and vote in elections and stay engaged, our democratic system has worked since 1776 and will continue to work far into the future. We encourage you to vote on November 6th. How you vote is up to you. For more information on where to vote, please visit lakevoterpower.info or contact the Lake County Clerk's Office at 847-377-2400. We deeply appreciate your time, your trust, and your willingness to be informed for the November election.